Peace and blessings, community, or should I say blessings? It's your girl, Hadida, again, coming to you live from this red tent. And my sister, Kai Jimmy, coming to you from the Holistic Healers Network. Tonight, we are discussing generational wealth, creating it in the form of cryptocurrency in our Black community, or that as a way to be able to create um, generational wealth. So, as you already know... Um, we will be joining you every single Wednesday here live for Wealthy Wednesdays between the two of our communities. And we are joining together on this path of bringing you guys as much information as we can about ways that we can be able to create generational wealth as well as um, secure secure the bag while we're alive. <laughs> because generational wealth a lot of times, um, you know, will help us help us and the generations to come as we you know transition but we want to make sure we also live in optimal lives now and we are wealthy so with that being said let's jump into it last week we told you guys that we were going to be discussing cryptocurrency because we really dove into life insurance and using that as a vehicle to be able to create generational wealth and so of course my sister Kai Jimmy has all the tea for us so let me shut up and let her start talking <laughs> Greetings, peace and blessings, everyone. Again, I'm so excited to be here sharing this information. We're all about creating, as Hadida said, generational legacy and generational wealth and talk about different platforms in which we could do so. Um, we did talk about life insurance while, you know, utilizing it while you're alive. And as she stated, cryptocurrency, you know, this is another platform where we can utilize um, it to create generational wealth and legacy. So cryptocurrency, if you don't know, it's a digital currency. It's peer to peer. It's a trustless system, meaning all the transactions are on a blockchain. The blockchain is a digital transaction ledger where you can see all the transactions on the blockchain as opposed to whatever the banks they're doing. We can't see anything that they're doing behind the scenes other than what we see on our personal um, bank account, you know, in the back of our, our statements, if you will. Um, cryptocurrency is here to stay. Um, digital currency is here to stay. It's, it's a new uh, economic system. We are in a new paradigm shift. Um, there's a lot of talk of different countries and now even different states. They're saying that Texas is creating their own digital currency. Um, so it's here to stay. So you can either voluntarily, you know, get into it and capitalize on it, or you're going to be in it regardless. And so let's talk about it, how the different ways you could get in it. You know, you could buy some. You know, how do you buy something? You have to go on an exchange slash wallet. When I say exchange or wallet, just think of it as a bank for cryptocurrencies where you could buy some. <clears throat> how do you know how to buy some? Um, you could get go on coinmarketcap.com, and that's where they have all the cryptocurrencies that are in existence. Um, it tells you what the cryptocurrencies are, what they're about, how many are in circulation, how many they plan to produce, um, who are the founders slash owners. Um, of course, Bitcoin is the mother, grandmother of them all. Um, and yeah, as I stated, they're here to stay. So you would buy some and just hodl. Hodl means hold. Um, and, and try not to be emotional when you invest in these. Oh, again, these, this is all disclaimer. This is not financial advice. Please do your due diligence. This is all for entertainment and educational purposes only. Just here to share, you know, what we've learned and what we're implementing in our lives. Because, you know, we're tired of our generation after generation having to start over and over and over. And that this is not what's taught in other cultures, you know. They teach them how to they leave create wealth and leave it for generations to come. And so that's what we are sharing because that's what we want for our community as well. Um, so yeah, you would buy some on exchanges, wallets like a Coinbase, a Crypto.com, a Kraken.com. Now, mind you, they have decentralized platforms, meaning you don't have to 
create an account with your personal information and then they have centralized where you do have to create accounts with your personal information and these of course you get a 1099 and it's reported to the irs and things of that nature um and then you have something called cold wallets and hard wallets but um where you take them off offline and you put them on a cold wallet that looks like a flash drive and that way it's protected it's you know from being um hacked or stolen so um so yes yeah, so you go on you know crypto.com as i say this so crypto.com coinbase.com cracking.com these are centralized platforms you could buy them on there and then you can transfer them to decentralized platforms like a trust wallet a metamask a um exodus you know and then take them off from these decentralized wallets and then put them on your cold wallet and then just hold them, you know, just hold them. And, um, you know, they're going to go up and down just like stocks. They are volatile. So, um, but don't be emotional. Don't be worried about, Oh yeah, it's going to go up. It's going to go down. Oh my goodness. Take it out. Buy it. Do you know? Um, and right now, as we're going through this paradigm shift, it's an optimal time to buy some because as we briefly talked about before, there's an algorithm on how they go up and down and they go to the bear market and the bull market. Right now we're in a bear market, which means that it's down. But next year, you know, as the algorithm goes, it's going to be an up market, right? But you do have to have an exit strategy, meaning, okay, so when you do like buy some, you know, if you want, when they go up at a significant amount, you know, you get some out. You know, do what you want to do. Hopefully buy another asset like real estate or something else that's going to generate some other wealth. Um, and then, um, you know, just keep still, just keep some, just hold them, just hold them, especially Bitcoin. Bitcoin, they are saying Bitcoin is predicted, you know, you hear different amounts. You hear six figures, sometimes you hear seven, you could go up to seven figures. Um, so, yeah, just... Um, especially Bitcoin, Ethereum, those two, you want to just definitely um, buy some and hold on your cold wallet. Cold wallets, some cold wallets are um, Nano X Ledger, <clears throat> excuse me, and you have Trezor. These are some of the cold wallets and you definitely want to buy these on the website. Do not buy these cold wallets off of third parties like Amazon, eBay, anything of that. So Trezor, T-R-E-Z-O-R dot I-O is the website for the Trezor code wallet. And then you have Ledger, L-E-D-G-E-R dot com for the Ledger. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I particularly like the Nano X. Um, and so, yeah. Um, so, of course, everybody knows about Bitcoin because, you know, Bitcoin has been around for so long. But are there other coins that you would suggest that people look into or other ways to be able to um, invest their cash in crypto? Like, I know for a fact that Cash App tries to get people to buy all the freaking time, right? Do you suggest, I know you say be careful with third parties. Do you suggest using Cash App as a form? And if not, then, um, well, let me let you finish the first question. <laughs> so, you know, if you're just getting started with it, um, Cash App, I believe, only um, deals with Bitcoin. So if that's your option right now to just get started. Then, yeah, that's fine to do it. I wouldn't keep it. I wouldn't keep my crypto uh, currency. I wouldn't keep my Bitcoin on Cash App. I would, you know, I could buy it on there, but I would definitely take it off. And if until you get your hard wallet, Cold wallet, that's the synonymous is the same thing. You hear me say cold wallet, hard wallet, this is the same thing. Cold just means it's off the platform for it not to be, you know, easily, I shouldn't say easily, because for it not to be, you know, hacked or stolen. And the hard wallet just means it's the physical wallet that looks like a, a flash drive. So it's synonymous, it's the same thing. And when you hear me say that, as I stated, it's the same thing. So yeah, I would utilize Cash App, but then I would take it off and 
you know, open me up an account on MetaMask or Exodus or Trust Wallet. These are decentralized. And just have the, have your Bitcoin, just take, take them over there or whatever cryptocurrencies you have and change them. Send them over there until you get your um, hard wallet and then transfer them over there. But as far as other cryptocurrencies, yes. Yeah, so this new economic system, we're going to be utilizing different um, cryptocurrencies. And so from my research, they're going to be utilizing these um altcoins mean alternative coins um they call them iso 222 coins and these coins are quant q and t you got algorand a l g o you have um ripple which is xrp you have stella which is xlm you have um xdc I forget what that is, but you can look it up. That's the code. You have um, HBAR, which is Hedera, <clears throat> IOTA, Constellation. These are some of the coins that um, you should look into because they're going to be utilizing these um, with the new system. Like everything, whatever we use, PayPal, Swift, you know, all of these third party. Um, companies that we utilize now ibm all of it you know that's another thing invest in these companies that's going to be utilizing these too right like ripple like ibm um things of that nature so you might want to go ahead and look into some stocks as well to um get into you get in some cash as well you know some wealth creating wealth through these different options so yeah, those are some of the other Ethereum. I stated Ethereum too. So yes, those are some of the um, different cryptocurrencies I will look into as well. So what piques your interest in in cryptocurrency? Like <clears throat> most people have a story how they get there. Um, I mean, I can remember when you first introduced it to me all the way back in like 2013. But what piques your interest? Like what made you be like, okay, this is something I want to do. Okay, so um, I was on my spiritual journey about like 2009. I was like, you know, I was feeling weird. Like, I know, I was like, I feel like I'm like in this world, but I'm not of it. And I couldn't really mm. explain it. And when I said that, I don't know, it's like the universe opened up and just different things start coming to me that was like resonating with my spirit. It was like feeding mm. my soul like yoga, like meditation, like, you know, eating good food, like uh, spirituality, you know, um, just all those kinds of things. And then um, somebody told me about this uh, lady that we love on YouTube and um, it was like Bitcoin. And I was like, Bitcoin? What's Bitcoin? I don't know, for some reason, it just resonated with my spirit. I didn't know what it was, but as soon as uh, she said it, it was like, Bitcoin. I said, oh, wow. So let me, you know, hear more about this. So I went on her channel, Valerie Love, um, on YouTube, and she was talking about Bitcoin and how um, it's a digital currency and it's peer-to-peer -peer and, you know, we could um, eliminate the third parties and, you know, because we don't need them and nothing. And I was like, wait a minute, this resonated with my spirit. And right away, I was like, this is sovereignty. Like, this is a way for us to be sovereign and create that wealth that all of us are supposed to be living, not just the 1%. You know, <clears throat> that's how I got started with it. And then I was excited. And then I wanted to, like, share it with other people. Like, yeah, this is it. This is it. This is it. And, of course, at that time, you know, people think that you're crazy because I think it was, <laughs> um, I forgot the amount it was back then. But it was, I, I think it was like $532. It was like $520 something dollars, girl. Yes. And look at it now. It's like $30. I remember because I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get some. I'm going to get some. And it was like, you know, at the time, I didn't realize like the opportunity. And I can remember because, you know, up in North, they had a, a um, ATM. And we used to walk around the corner and you showed me how to put the money in, how to get the cryptocurrency and all of that kind of stuff. And it was like, you know, something new and farming and blah, 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 blah. But it was like all this excitement around it at the same time. So it was like, you know, you just are searching, you know, for for truth. 
I think the thing that's I think the thing that stood out to me, and y'all know, like if you in my community, you already know, you already know, I'm like always like rebel energy and militant and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, for me, I think the thing that I loved the most was that I did not have to be subject to like somebody else being able to control and be in between me and another person exchanging. I'm not okay with like the government and all of these other entities always being like 100% in all of our stuff. I'm not okay with it. And it's crazy because earlier I was scrolling on Fat on um, TikTok and somebody was talking about, I think it's called FedEx, that in July they're getting ready to start every single transaction we do taping or not taping, but every single transaction we do, they're going to be like the middleman and they're, it's going to have to pass through uh, kind of like a filter of the government before they allow it to go through. So there is no more like me paying you as my hairstylist and I just send you the money and it goes to you on Cash App or PayPal. Like everything has to be approved. And because of that, like they can choose which transactions they want to go through and which ones they don't. Like what? Right. Like what? And last night we had the king that came on to Kapunya's talk. And he was talking about taking the crypto. Because, see, for me, I need to always be able to see how something that's introduced to me leads back to me being on my divine purpose. Like, okay, I know that, you know, it's a way to be sovereign. I know that it's a way for us to be able to build economic wealth. I know that it's another form of investment, blah, 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 blah. But ultimately, like, I have to be able to see in some kind of way where it's pointing to, like, an end game plan. And the other night, or last night, the brother came over with Kafuya's talk, and he was dropping some dimes about after you get your cryptocurrency, don't leave it there. First of all, stop investing in these two, three day short contract. Nobody knows how long it's going to last type of situations. Take your cryptocurrency that you are investing in something like Bitcoin or something like XRP that has been around for a really long, you know, not only say a really long time, but been around and has shown itself to stay, right? It's not a short contract. Take your money off of that and use it to buy gold and silver. And now years ago, because I can remember when I first met you, you was the one who talked to me about <laughs> most of the stuff done with investment. My sister got Jimmy has told me, which is why I met bringing her, you know, onto my platform and I'm happy to be joining her on hers. But for for me, it's like um when when you hear about buying gold and silver, you always knew it as either go to the pawn shop slash jewelry store and hand it to them and they're going to give you cash for your stuff. Or like you go, you might get like a necklace or you might get a ring or you might get something like that, but you don't get like tons and tons and tons of it. And the brother last night put us on to a couple of platforms. Where we can go in and literally buy gold and silver and actually scan it. He was talking about the apps and things like that that they are developing where you can, can scan this stuff and be able to know that it's real and then you have physical possession because like Russia and China and all these people are now backing their commerce by tangible assets like gold and silver. They are no longer freaking going around with this American dollar. They dropping it. And everybody is. Like the American dollar is taking. So in the midst of that, it's like, we better freaking level our minds up and get ready. Like, be able to be on a playing field. And the thing that I love about all of this is for the first time in history, you mean to tell me I can walk up into a store, buy a whole pound of silver and gold, bring it home and be my own bank for real, for real. And then on top of that, have cryptocurrency that's trustless, meaning I don't have to worry about where it's going because I can see every transaction and I'm keeping my own information I could use all of this to create my own wealth and nobody is standing in between it. That's power. Yes. That's power put back in the hands of the people in order for us to be able to progress. Like that's where real sovereignty comes in. Not nothing against some of my other brothers and sisters that talk about sovereignty. But when you talk to me about sovereignty, but you can't show me the path, you can't tell me, okay, take step A, then you're going to cross the street, go to step B, and you're going to walk three miles, and you're going to get to step C, and then step D going to look like this, and you're going to be sovereign. When you can't do that for me and give me, like, the way to do it, it feels kind of like mumbo-jumbo. So for me, the first time in history, 
as far as my recollection in my lifespan anyway, that I can now not just look at my grandmother's necklace that she had, you know, that she passed down to me as a piece of gold. I can look at actually having something that I walked into the store, buy a tangible asset myself, and then use that to build or do whatever I want. And the brother last night touched on um, us being able to use it as an exchange of currency. So now when Kajimni has something that I need and I have something that Kajimni needs, so he gave the, the idea of a farmer and he was like, okay, you you have gold or silver and you need, you know, um, vegetables. Now I can walk up to Kajimni, who's the farmer, and be like, hey, can you use some gold or some silver? And the healing properties of silver, mind-blowing. The healing properties of copper and gold, mind-blowing. And he called it earth, He called it God's money. Ooh, that that did something to me because you mean to tell me I have access to be able to have something that's naturally from the ground. Obviously, we have to pay for it, but we have something that's straight from Mother Earth, straight that the most high put here that's not created like paper. Yeah. Um, and I can use that as a commerce to be able to pay. So, anyway, back to this analogy, I go to Kajimi and I say, Hey, what can you you can you use my get my gold my silver my copper and Kajima's like oh yeah I can and he goes you know 15 pounds of potatoes we get ready to get to the place where we're going back to bartering and being able to have the way to be able to deal with our people in our community without having to go through the government and I feel like that's so major because with so many different things being unknown and so many pandemics coming around it's kind of like if we don't have something, especially those of us who are not going around, not going like, you know, everybody else is doing everything else that everybody else is doing. If I'm not following every single thing that I'm told needs to be done in order for me to be safe or be OK, and I have a mind of my own, you need a protection. And the protection is being able to have your own resources where you don't have to go through these other institutions, such as the government, to be able to withhold yourself and your family and protect yourself. Same way that we have the ability to bear arms, God forbid something happen. It's the same way we should be able to deal with our finances and make transactions without everything having to be so like, you know, front street and a problem if it doesn't. So I wanted to share that. But wait a minute. I just scroll over. Oh, well, I know you might say something, but I just scrolled on to um, the video that you sent me of the brother when he's talking about crypto. Yeah. I want to play that. I'm going to see if I can to bring it in. Yeah. Um, so give me two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted you to touch upon the breakdown what the brother was saying about the sisters. That's our oh. Oh, even, you know, and even with the uh, the breakdown of the tree in the middle, I was just like, oh my gosh, man, this brother yeah. had us mesmerized. But okay, go ahead, please. But please. maybe we can see if he'll he'll be willing to come on. Oh, yes. Because yes. see, we got Financial Freedom Fridays. I should reach out to him yes. and see like if he'll be willing to let us like you know, do a snippet, like the first 10 minutes or something like that of his class or something like that and bring some of our community in because yeah. the brother is offering a class where it's $44 a month. And y'all know for me, my number is 11. I tell my community all the time. And then four, I see 444 all the time. Like I see 11, 11 all the time. So when I heard that I could actually, you know, get into this class with him to study, it was like a no brainer. Um, but Maybe we can see if we can touch bases with him and have him come on. Just like we want to have Ken come on to talk about the trust. Yes. So I don't know. Like I, It's like so many people that the Most High is sending us. I don't know who the heck to bring on first. <laughs> who to work with first. It's just like, you know what I mean? So, like um, trust. Yeah, I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah, the no, trust, no, no, please. That's what you need in order to protect all of your assets. So yeah, definitely need him on here to tell you about, okay, you're going to get all this wealth, now how do you protect it? And how do you leave it to the generations to come? Exactly. So yeah, okay, exactly. yeah, let's look at this video. This video is, woo!
Okay, so it's not coming up. Queen, do you have it? Like, are you able to send it to me again? Sure. Send it to me on WhatsApp because when I click it, it's bringing up some a whole bunch of other stuff on, on WhatsApp. I wonder if, like, after a certain period of time, the TikTok link changes. Um, oh, yeah. I hope not. I, I hope not either. Because I, like I usually put stuff in my favorites, but I don't think I did that because it was something that you sent me. Mm -hmm. Sorry, y'all. You know your girl is fast, and I had to drink my tea. What'd you say? I said, "Bear with me. I'm getting it now." Oh no, that's fine. Okay. It's saying, "Make your day." It might have expired. I'm seeing "Make your day" on it now. I don't know what that is. We shall see. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, so they must have they must change the address of the video after a certain period of time. Maybe so now because it was so well, they might have because there is so much. I wonder if I go to TikTok. Hold on, let me what was it originally called? It was called like crypto. Gosh, um, um and I know he had like hashtag XRP. Um let me see. Cause this brother was giving straight hawk and it was like, whoa. Um, you know, what's millions of freaking people talking about crypto and XRP. Yeah. Dang man. All right. So what I'll probably do is just, um, Dang. Yeah, I don't recall the brother's name, but he was. Woo! That yeah, that TikTok was powerful. Now, I'm sure. And I didn't even think about getting it earlier because I'm like, oh, I still got it in my WhatsApp. I'll just pull it up and then I go to it, and it's not there anymore, which is really interesting. And that oftentimes happens a lot, to be quite honest, with um. You know, accounts like when you start telling the truth on some stuff, they get to taking it down quick, quick, fast when they catch wind, especially on TikTok. Um, so what I'll probably do is just try to find it because you know it's way too many coming, <laughs> way too many people <laughs> on um on social media for me to sit here and try to scroll through all of them. But what I will do is in this this edited version of this, I will make sure that I put. I attach it to the end of the screen and make it be the video that's at the end so that our community can see it. Um, is there anything else you want to touch on Queen, about um, crypto or, you know, how to utilize it um, or would like, you know, any other guidance that you want to give? Um, whatever you do, please just do something because we're in a new paradigm shift. It's not leaving. Um, the government was telling you, oh, yeah, it's not good. It's a scam. It's this, it's this and that. But yet and still, they creating all the, their own coins and systems and things of that nature. So once again, they could be in control of your finances as opposed to you being in control of your own finances. So please do your due diligence. Please get involved. Uh, prepare. Um, even though it seems like it might be chaotic and systems are changing and you know, AI is taking over. A lot of jobs are going to be gone and things of that nature. Programs, things of that nature. They're threatening like Social Security, pensions, programs, um, firing a lot of people. So, yeah, we're going to have to create and get into these systems and create our own wealth so that we're prepared because this year is coming. But don't look at it. Don't panic. Just be still. Breathe, mm -hmm. go within and just let the most high direct you but 
prepare. You know, this is a great time to create wealth, you know, in chaos. You know, wars are made, millionaires are made in wars. They said with the pandemic, it was a whole bunch of people who was making a lot of money and things of that nature. So all of this stuff, when stuff goes down, that's when you can create wealth. So don't look at it as, oh my gosh, all this bad stuff is happening. Pause, reflect, plan, execute, have an exit strategy, and let's grow this generational wealth, people. Yes. Um, you said something really quickly before we hop off. You said okay. don't you said don't panic and instead plan. And I think that you know sometimes the reason why and I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, but sometimes the reason why we can't hear so much when something like this that is valuable comes to us is because there is always so much like fear tactic pushed into everything. So naturally people are like, okay, I, I don't want to hear nothing. You know what I mean? Like everything is fear, 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 fear. None of it is preparation. Right. And I said last week when we were on live, prepare, 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 prepare. If we became proactive rather than reactive and we got used to preparing before the storm came, whether we thought it was something for roll for roll or not, I mean, what would it really hurt you to put $20, $30 into Bitcoin or into whatever ones that you might do your research about and might feel good within your spirit about to join? What would it really hurt you to put your money there and see what happens? Because as she stated, as my sister stated, we're in a bear market, so everything is down. But when it goes to the bull market, everybody knows that's when it jumps up to 100000 80000 this thou, that thou. It's already on the rise. So imagine if we had $100 in it two, three months ago before it went up to $25 or $28 or whatever it was the other day when I looked at it, it's probably higher than that right now. But like, what happens if we have that, have something, you know what I mean? And I always tease God, Jimmy, because I always be like, you know the day that I know I'm going to make it? It's going to be when I got to be a whole damn Bitcoin. Like, that's going to be the day that I made it. Because when she boarded it to me, it was my desire to get a whole Bitcoin. And at the time, like, I know that it's divisible, like, pennies into a dollar. I get that. But for me, it was like, I got to have at least one. Right. And so now I'm like, the day I know that I make it still when I get a whole Bitcoin. You know what I mean? I say that to her every day because that's my reality. Like, that's what I really want. I want just one Bitcoin. And it could go up and down all it want to. Put your $100 in. Let it grow. Take that money off. Place it into silver and gold. Place it into life insurance, okay, with cash benefits and all these other different things. Place your money into investment accounts. Get you a trust that shields you and your family's money. And then after you do that, live your best damn life. But don't go buying no daggone Louis Vuitton pocketbook for no $1,200, 1300 $1,400. Don't have trust the first, don't have life insurance the first, don't have uh cryptocurrency the first, don't have investment the first of any kind, like nothing whatsoever. And on top of that, one more daggone thing before I get off. <laughs> I people always be like, Oh, cryptocurrency is so volatile, you don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, and so is the damn stock market. The stock market been eating up people's money forever. You can straight up have a 401k on the stock market. The joint be $150,000 a day. And tomorrow, the joint drop down to $75,000. Ain't nobody running around here screaming and hollering, oh, Vanguard is stealing all our money. No. They need their money with Vanguard. Let them people flop it up and down all they want to. And they don't never go do nothing with it. So what the hell is the difference? Is it because your job created the account for you and you don't want to take accountability for yourself? Like, what? I don't get it. Right. Or anyway. Okay. All right. Great. Be your own bank. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Word. Word. Well said. I am so happy that we got a chance to join with you guys again, community. Um, I love you. Thank you for letting me come on your community, God Jimmy. Thank you for coming in front of our community, God Jimmy. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I'm in space Thank of gratitude. Um, if you are here from the Red Tent, don't forget that we have um, 
55 days of transformation going on right now. So every day we are joining at 11, 11 and stuff on the weekends is 12, 12, but we join at 11, 11 every single day. And we are doing, um, our affirmations and we are manifesting optimal health and overflow and abundant wealth. Also do not forget to check out my sister at the holistic killers network. She has a network of holistic killers that are coming together and they are doing major things. There is a whole entire membership. So if you in my community and you want to find out more, please contact her. Um, her website is down below in the description box, but there are opportunities to be able to join her community, to be able to get your business pushed out there, to be able to connect with customers that need your services, to join her on Facebook and Instagram, all of those good things. So all of the information will be down in the description box below. And for this replay, if you are coming back to watch it, I will make sure that I attach the video from TikTok if I can find it. All right. I love you guys. I'm um, Kajimi. Anything else you want to say? No, I'm just, again, grateful, grateful to you. I've been in my own way and it's just like time. I'm so grateful that I'm coming out now and continue to come out and, um, you know, sure. help, you know, because that's what we're here for, to help, you know, other beings, help other souls come together. And just one last thing, too, like, also, like, what are our resources? Let's get that together within our community. What is what? What do you have? What's your skills? You know, what's your skills? Let's come together and just utilize that. Go back to the ancient times, where we do bartering and we use utilizing gold and silver. You know, because that's the real currency, as a brother was telling us. So, I just wanted to leave with that. Again, I'm just very grateful. Grateful to both communities and um let's grow let's do this let's be our own we're the ones we're waiting for let's become our own banks and leave the generational wealth and legacies for generations to come i mean i mean give thanks i mean i say hey Thank you, community. I love you guys so much. We will see you next. Well, actually, we'll see you Friday for uh, Financial Freedom Fridays. Oh, Lord, I'm turned off my life. For Financial Freedom Fridays. Um, and can't wait to see you here. Peace. Peace. Don't be <laughs>